Sadiq Bey was one of the more promising and surprising rookies out of the 2020 draft class. The one who played very well last year for the Detroit Pistons on one of the worst teams in the league is now looking a lot better with Cade Cunningham. But today I want to talk about Sadiq Bey moving forward into next year and for the future of his career and what the potential is for him and where the upside is for him as someone who's a 19th overall pick and now looks like someone who could end up being a very impactful player throughout his NBA career. And so this is someone who has showed a lot of different positive assets to his game last year. He's a scorer from deep and improving from mid-range and in the paint. He shot 38% from deep last year, 40% from the field. Efficiency, of course, for a rookie is always going to be something that just continually needs to be improved on. But the fact that his three-point shooting is already extremely good, making about two and a half threes per game, is something that is very promising, something to look forward to. He was also a fairly good rebounder at six foot seven at the small forward spot. He's not small, but he's not extremely long. But he averaged about 4.5 rebounds per game. The one who definitely can rebound the ball and score the ball and I think has the upside to be fairly good on the defensive end as well he averaged about 0.7 steals per game and I think that number is probably going to creep up over one as he continues through his career but steals of course are not the indication of all defense I think he can just be a good on ball and help defense guy at 6'7 215 pounds he has good size and good length for the small forward position and I like the athletic abilities that he has I think he can develop into being a very solid on ball defender I think the offensive capabilities definitely have a large ceiling. I think they have a much higher ceiling than where he is currently at, and I think he has a lot of room to improve and grow and become a really good player in this league. Sadiq Bey is already a very good three-point shooter in his rookie year at 38% on someone who had to carry a nice chunk of offensive load as a rookie. This guy should put about 10, shot, 10 field goal attempts per game, and that number was much higher towards the back end of the year. Because outside of Jeremy Grant, this team didn't really have that many guys that could create their own shot and create offense for them. And so Sadiq Bey was that guy outside of Jeremy Grant. And he did fairly well at it. The fact that he was 40% for the field, 38% from deep. Sure, if this was year six Sadiq Bey, you don't love 40% from the field. But for a rookie who got thrown into a big role, who has to put up a lot of shots, that's pretty darn good. Especially from three-point range. And so his three-point shooting is only going to improve and continue to get better off a of catch and shoot. And hopefully he can continue to prove off of the dribble it created his own shot. And then from there, it's just going to be finishing at the rim and developing a bit more of a mid-range game. Something that I think he can definitely do with time. Is this If this is rookie Sadiq Bey, sure he is 22. He is older for someone who came in as a rookie. But I think he still has upside. Can someone that can comfortably average 15 plus at night be a very good three-point shooter. And can really be one of the elite 3 and D guys in the league. Or even develop his offensive game to a point where he is a bit more than just a 3 and D. But I think someone like OG Ananobi is someone you can definitely look at from a comparison of an elite 3 and D type guy. Now, is he going to be as good as defensively as OG Ananobi? No, I doubt it. There's not many people that are as good defensively as OG Ananobi. But I think Sadiq Bey really has the potential to be a very, very good wing defender. I think that is definitely in his capabilities. Whether that he realizes that is going to be something that is up to him, but I think he definitely has the potential to do so, and it's something I look forward to him doing throughout the next few years of his career. That is my thoughts on Sadiq Bey moving into next year and the future of his career. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to hear my thoughts on other players throughout this offseason that I want to get my predictions on for next season and their future, then be sure to click the box on the right-hand side of the screen. That being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one.